Welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. The challenge for this video is to make the tie rods and push rods for the steering mechanism on my Velomobile recumbent trike project. I'm going to be making these out of carbon fibre tubes which I've bought from Easy Composites here in the UK. The challenge for today is to make the threaded aluminium inserts that will be glued into the end of the carbon fibre tubes. These will take the rod end bearings. Um, the inserts are going to be glued in using this stuff which is Voodoo Glue VM100 Black which I also bought from easycomposites.co.uk uh, and this stuff is supposed to be good for gluing metal parts to carbon fibre uh, fabrications so let's give it a go and see how it works. The tie rods and the push rods have a threaded rod end bearing in each end one of them is a left hand thread and the other is a right hand thread to allow the length of the tie rod to be adjusted so I'll need to remember to cut a left hand thread and a right hand thread in the inserts when I get around to making them. The tie rods are going to be made from this which is 14mm outside diameter carbon tube. It's incredibly light, this one metre length I can hardly feel the weight of it but I'll try and weigh it at some point. Um, one millimetre wall thickness, the total length of the tie rods is 300mm, so about that. Um, the steering push rods I'm going to be using 20 millimeter tube, again one millimeter wall thickness. Um, on reflection I think these are probably quite a lot bigger than I actually need for this job. I'm going to go with this for now since these are quite expensive, 20 pounds a tube, so um, I'm not going to send them back or waste them. The tie rod inserts are going to be made out of this, which is a bit of 16 millimeter diameter aluminium alloy rod. These are the tools I'll be using to make the threaded inserts for the tie rods. There's a right hand turning and facing tool, a chamfering tool, a parting off tool and I've got a knurling tool which I made from a Hemingway kit a while ago. This I'll be using to make a light knurl on the outside diameter of the insert just to give it a key for gluing or bonding into the tube. Um, for the holes and threads in the middle I've got a centre drill, um, drills of increasing sizes. This one here is the tapping size drill, it's 6.8mm uh, that I'm using. Then I've got a left hand 8mm tap and a right hand 8mm tap uh, and that's what I'll be using. This is a rough sketch of what I'm just about to make. So basically it's a cylindrical section piece, 23mm long, got a portion of M8 thread down the middle and then an unthreaded portion, slightly chamfered on the ends to allow it to spread the glue as it gets inserted into the end of the tube. 12mm um, diameter here to fit inside the end of the tube and slightly larger 16mm on the flange at the end. It's made of aluminium.
This is what the inserts look like now that I've finished making them. I've made a little jig out of MDF here and I've positioned two pins 300 millimetres apart which is the length of the tie rods. I'm going to put the rod ends over like that and use this to measure the distance to cut the length of the carbon fibre tubes for the tie rods. Now I'm roughening the inside of the ends of the tubes with a piece of sandpaper just to provide a key for the adhesive. Then I'm going to give the insides of the ends of the tubes and the inserts a thorough clean with isopropanol or isopropyl alcohol. So I've now keyed the mating surfaces for the inserts and the tubes and I'm going to glue them together with this uh, VM100 black adhesive. I've just realised that I don't seem to have the prongs to go in the end so I'm going to have to try and find another way of doing that. So these are the tie rods, they've turned out quite well, I think they look pretty good. The only question is how strong are they, and particularly how strong are the bonded joints. Um, I'm just a bit worried that they might come loose. In terms of the strength of these things, the buckling load is around about 2,000 newtons, or 200 kilograms roughly, so very unlikely to fail in buckling. The tensile strength of the carbon fibre tube is well over a tonne, so there's no way that's going to break in tension. The only question is the strength of the bonded joints. So, um, although in use these will mostly be loaded in compression, there will be some tension as well, so I just want to be sure that these joints aren't going to come loose. So I've devised a crude test. Um, I've suspended this from the ceiling, uh, and I'm going to dangle myself off it to see if it breaks or not. Here goes. exercise there. Um, so I weigh something like 60 kilograms last time I checked. Um, so these things are, are quite strong. There's no sign of distress in the bonded joints. Um, I'm reluctant to destructively test it, but uh, I think these are more than strong enough for the job in hand. This is the second one, so just for quality control purposes I think I'd better test this one as well. Perfect, absolutely no sign of distress in this one either. Um, so good news, I'm pretty happy with the way these bonded joints have turned out. Uh, everything I glue has a habit of becoming unglued, so this has given me a good bit of confidence in the performance of this, this adhesive. I've now made the threaded inserts for the ends of the steering push rods. Uh, they, I made these in exactly the same way as for the tie rod inserts. Um, they're left hand and right hand threaded one at each end alone. In fact, that's not actually necessary as it's turned out because I'm going to make the push rods length adjustable by using two different diameters of carbon fibre tube, which will actually fit one into the other, so telescoping. And I'll have a clamp on the end of it to provide a lock. Um, so the length will be adjustable in that fashion. But since I'd already bought the left and right hand rod end bearings um, and the taps, I've stuck with the left and right hand threads. I'm going to be bonding these inserts into the end of the tubes in exactly the same way as I did for the tie rods.
for the push rods I'm using 6mm rod end bearings rather than the 8mm rod end bearings that I use for the tie rods. The reason for that is I need far less articulation in the joints um, and therefore didn't have to use the misalignment spaces for the push rods uh, so I could get away with the smaller diameter bolts holding them in place. Well I think that's about all we've got time for on this video. The next jobs coming up are to make the axles for the front wheels, get the wheels fitted, sort out the braking cables and all the braking mechanism. Then I'm going to be working gradually back, so the handlebar mechanism that happens at the other end of these steering push rods I need to sort out. I'm going to be fitting the bottom bracket and the pedal mechanism and gradually working towards the rear end of the trike um, with the rear wheel, the chain and all that sort of stuff. I've got a video planned for the misalignment spaces that I made to allow the rod end bearings to give their full articulation. Um, and I might have a closer look at the tilting mechanism at the front just to show you a little bit more detail as how all that's coming together. Um, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found something of interest in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. That always helps the channel. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. I'll try and remember to put the linkages, the links for the uh, suppliers that I've used in the description under the title of the video. Uh, so, thank you again and I'll see you next time.